Europe's largest supervolcano is about to erupt. This is Camp Flegri in Italy. Europe's most dangerous supervolcano, Camp Flegri, is on the verge of erupting according to a new warning issued by scientists in Italy. The volcano has a potential to kill over half a million people and it could cause damage that would extend across the entire planet. There are 20 supervolcanoes across our Earth. This is one of them. The volcano has the potential to kill half a million people, causing damage extending worldwide. The first eruption is thought to have contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals. Though this is heavily debated, what's indisputable is that it caused heinous weather changes, toxic levels of sulfur in the air, which caused dark red sunsets for over a year, and tons of acid rain. In the most recent eruption, the supervolcano erupted for eight days straight and formed a new mountain, aptly named Monte Nuovo, New Mountain, Monte Nuovo. Scientists have detected an increase in low-level activity since 2005, which they have called an uplift. The recent activity prompted the Italian government to raise the threat level from green to yellow, which means that the volcano is now monitored 24-7 to detect any increases in the likelihood that it could erupt. A recent study found that the activity has increased substantially, which spurred the government into action. Half a million people are living directly on top of it and on its flanks, as you can see from the map. The, er, these, this area is actually the field of the supervolcano, the caldera, and you can see the craters there in the aerial images that we have of this. So half a million people live directly on top of it and on the flanks of the supervolcano in the bustling metropolitan area of the city of Naples. If it were to erupt, these people would likely die if not given enough time to evacuate, but the repercussions could extend much farther than that if it reaches the same magnitude as it did 39,000 years ago. So if that were to happen, the ash clouds would surely block out the sun and lower the Earth's temperature, and as a result, the livestock, crops, and other plant species would die, causing wild animal extinctions and leading to starvation around the world and maybe even a long perpetual volcanic winter, nuclear winter as it's called. Of course this would be all be the worst case scenario. Scientists say it's not possible to know when or if the supervolcano will actually erupt. Some speculate that based on past eruptions we have at least a few decades to wait before really needing to worry. But that could still be in our lifetime. Others say that the levels of degrassing pressure that are being reached are critical and could mean an explosion is in the very near future. Thankfully, the scientists are watching the movements 24 hours a day to determine what the risks are and those affected by the disaster will hopefully be given ample time to evacuate the area. The Plegrin fields, Campi Flegri, in Italian, a Greek, it comes from the Greek word flego, meaning to burn. It's a large volcanic area west of Naples, Italy, declared a regional park in 2003. The area of the caldera consists of 24 craters and volcanic structures. Most of them lie under the water, though. Hydrothermal activity can be observed at the Lucrino Agnano and the town of Pozzuoli. There are also effusive gaseous manifestations, that is sulfur gas being emitted at the Solfatara crater, the mythological home of the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. This area is monitored by the Vesuvius Observatory. The area also features Brady seismic phenomena, which are the most evident in the Macellum of Puzzuoli, misidentified as the Temple of Serapis, Bands of boreholes left by marine mollusks on marble columns show that the level of the site in relation to the sea level has varied. The geophysical phases are periods. The first flagrant period is thought to have erupted 
at the Archiflegro volcano about 39,300 years ago, uh, erupting about 200 cubic millimeters, that's 48 cubic miles of magma, to produce the Campion Ignimbrite eruption. The a volcanic explosivity index was a seven, so that's pretty big. The dating of the Campion Ignimbrite eruption about 37,000 years ago draws attention to the coincidence of the volcanic catastrophe and the suit of Coeval, the biocultural changes that are occurring within the outside of the Mediterranean region, including upper and middle Paleolithic cultural transition and the replacement of the Neanderthal populations by atomically and atomically modern Homo sapiens. So it's believed that yes, the Neanderthal, Neanderthal would have been wiped out by this, and that's how uh, another humanoid species came into being or was found. Anyway, the Homo sapiens, no less than 150 cubic millimeters of magma were extruded at this eruption, traces of which could be detected all the way to Greenland in the Greenland ice cores as widespread discontinuities in archaeological sequences are observed after this eruption, significant interference with ongoing human processes in Mediterranean Europe. That's the hypothesis of this. It's possible that these eruptions drove Neanderthals to extinction and cleared the way for modern humans to thrive in Europe and in Asia. The second plagrim period was uh, between 35,000 and 10 and a half thousand years ago, characterized by the Napolitan yellow tuff that remains of an immense underwater volcano. Uh, Puzuali is the center of this. Approximately 12,000 years ago, the last major eruption occurred, forming a smaller caldera inside the main caldera with its center in the town of Puzuali, where that lies today. Then we have the third plagrim period between 8,000 BC and 500 years ago. So this is pretty recent, and this is characterized with the white pozzolana, the material that forms the majority of volcanoes in the fields. It's said that there was initial activity to the southwest of the zone of Bacoli, Bai, uh, and intermediate activity in the area. So you can see that it, it erupted quite, free, quite uh, frequent. Um, a, little, a short time ago, 500 years ago, it's not that, f that far gone. Volcanic deposits indicative of eruption have been dated by Argonne at 315,000 years ago, 205,000 years ago, 157,000 years ago, and 18,000 years ago. Concerning the most recent history, the caldera, now essentially at ground level, is accessible on foot, of course. It contains many fumaroles from which steam can be seen. That is, fumaroles and geysers. These are fumaroles, steam coming out. And over 150 pools, at the last count, of boiling mud. Several subsidiary cones and tough craters lie within the caldera. And one of these craters is filled by Lake Avernus. In 1538, an eight-day eruption in the area deposited enough material to create a new hill, Monte Nuovo. It has risen about seven feet from the ground since 1970. It is a volcano capable of producing VEI-7 eruptions, larger than that of Tambora of 1815. So that's pretty bad for the whole of Europe, let alone the northern hemisphere, if not the world. At present, the flagrant fields area comprises the Naples district of Agnano and Fuori Grotta and the area of Pozzuoli, Bacoli, Monte de Prochida, Quarto, the flagrant islands. In 2009, journal articles stated that inflation of the caldera center in New Pozzuoli might present presage an eruptive event within decades. In 2012, the International Continental Scientific Drilling Program planned to drill 2.2 miles below the Earth's surface near Pompeii in order to monitor the massive molten rock chamber, the magma chamber below, 
and provide early warning of an eruption. Local scientists are worried that such drilling could itself initiate the eruption or an earthquake. In 2010, the Naples City Council halted the drilling project. Program scientists said the drilling was no different from industrial drilling in the area, and newly elected mayor allowed the project to go forward. A study from the Institution of Geology and Volcanology shows that the volcano unrest of the Campi Flegre caldera from 2012 to 13 was characterized by rapid ground uplift, about four inches in a peak rate of about one inch per month during the month of December 2012. So uh, we have now uh, earthquakes and uplifts going on. August 2017, magnitude four quake. Two women were killed, many more injured in the uh, Casa Michiola, northern coast of the island of Ischia, which is south of this epicenter. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.